Welcome back to another episode of Who the F***. It's the show that aims to take a deep dive into some of our acts and out to Reading and Leeds 2019. In today's video, we're looking at Just Banco. He's a trap slash drill UK hip hop artist from Manchester. If you've never heard of him before, hopefully this video will help answer the question, who the f*** is Just Banco? I'm really sorry, I couldn't find his name. Usually I, usually I always start with their name, but I, in this case I couldn't find it. He's from Manchester in the United Kingdom. You can hear a very subtle accent with his music. Similar to H, a lot less so, but it's still there. On his Facebook page, he describes himself as Trapanese, and in, in an interview of Wonderland magazine, he describes Trapanese as a genre that can't be decoded with words at all. It's a lifestyle, you have to live it. It's how you talk, what you wear, the swag's got to be dripping. Dripping. He reminds me a lot of people like Young Ads from D Block Europe. But also people like Jay Huss and Octavian. North Korean, Kim Young Ong when I spray the machine. Are you dumb? You're out your mind. You must be out of your mind. Out of your mind. Out of your mind. And in terms of his production, I'm definitely adding artists like Travis Scott. She said, where we going? And I said, the moon. He just talks about early memories of his music when his father was playing Dr. Dre to him at like six years old. Something that I can uh, align with. I was a little bit older than that, but yeah, I can align with that. And he burst onto the scene with his record, Can't Stay, which would feature on SBTV. Can't stay the night. Can't stay the night. This would follow up with the record, So Young. In 2018, he would collaborate with Matt Healy of the 1975, who would direct the video for his record, Ashley. He's even played a main stage slot at Wireless Festival, then released his debut EP, Last Train to Trap Band, in December of 2018. He goes on to describe this as 10 tracks of absolute excellence. He's due for a collaboration with Manchester's H, and has just followed up his EP with the single Code on the rocks in late March. This record is signed to Dirty Hit, so it's no wonder that he was had a collaboration with Matt Healy. It wouldn't be it wouldn't surprise me at all if that Friday we see lots and lots of Matt Healy at different sets. If you're a 1975 fan, I think you can always guarantee him being there to watch the set. His most popular record is the song Lad. Currently sat on 220,000 views on YouTube, and this is his first time playing Reading and Leeds. He's second on the one extra stage, following Matronica and playing before Tiffany Calver on the Friday at Reading and the Saturday at Leeds. That Friday is the most dirty hit day ever. Who have we got? We've got the 1975, Pale Waves, No Rome, and now just Banco. So yeah, if you, if you love that sound, then there's lots to see. I'm actually quite a big fan of the production. It sounds uh, really pretty different to a lot of the other stuff that's being released at the moment. I just cannot stand the use of auto-tune to this degree. It's just everywhere at the moment. I swear Jay-Z killed it off with Death of Auto-Tune and it seems to have just crawled back. Currently, it looks like he's gonna be clashing with Ocean Alley, Blocks, or Sea Girls, so I highly doubt I'll be checking out his set. So on the lightly to see scale, I'm gonna be going with a one out of 10. Sorry, just Banco. Although I was just researching some of his live sets and they do look incredible. You wanna say hello to YouTube? Hello. You're not on the, on the screen. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> What do you think? Are you excited to see him play at this year's festival? Are you a fan of his sound? Could be a bit quieter. Um, in a world of a lot of hip hop that I don't like, I'm not. My ears aren't offended by his music. I just don't think he's gonna compare to people like Blocks or Ocean Alley. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments section below as always, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.